My theory on winning a grand final is that so many things have to fall into place. Yeah. It takes a group of, say, 30 men yeah. to, to get it. Well, I'm going to say, like, playing at Leichhardt, for example. Hate you, it. you hated it? You never he's won. never won there, eh? He's no, never shocked there. Leichhardt. Yeah, no. that's right. Yeah. I remember that. Whereas Origin is the pinnacle of rugby league, the hardest and toughest environment, absolutely, but you're only there for three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Have we agreed on all of them? I think so. That's... <laughs> How are you, mate? Good, good, mate. Good. good to see you. Welcome to beautiful Sydney. Yeah, it's a bit cold, eh? Hey? Fresh. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't know what a jumper is. I nearly didn't it? pack one. That's too funny. Yeah. Actually, I was talking to Lockie Coote the other day. He said, yeah. mate, did you ever have a jumper in North Queensland? Yeah. Never, never had no, a jumper. Well, last year, through COVID, when we couldn't travel, I didn't wear one. Yeah, right. Uh, so. right. Queensland deserve a grand final. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> now, look, I, I, I do like the idea of Queensland having a grand final, only because, personally, I love playing there. It's the best stadium yeah. in the world to well, play under. Well, that's why I went, yes, because it's also good to play there, but it's better to watch. You watch your game Sun Corp compared to a core. My yeah. only my only downfall on it would be you can have 50,000 to Sydney's 83. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's my only... Look, I agree, and I got to play in two at a core, luckily, and I loved it as well. So, yeah, but yeah. I'm a bit biased. Yeah. And especially playing in front of a Queensland. Yeah. If you're a Queensland, I've played yeah. in front of a Queensland hometown, it'd be awesome. But, yeah, yeah I think it's a bit divided there, yeah. that one. Winning a grand final means more than winning an Origin series. Uh, different. Di they're different. But different. But yeah, completely yeah. different. Yeah. I, I often got, a, well, you would have too, the difference. And for me, it was always Origin meant more to so many more people, which is why it was exciting. True. It's only two teams to support, whereas club footy, you have, everyone has their membership base, and but you work so much longer and the opportunities don't come around. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with you on that one because yeah. my theory on winning a grand final is that so many things have to fall into place. Yeah. It takes a group of, say, 30 men yeah. to, to get it. For me as a young kid, all I ever wanted to do was win a grand final with a bunch of blokes yeah. that are ripped into in the off season yeah. with. Whereas Origin is the pinnacle of rugby league, the hardest and toughest environment, absolutely. But you're only there for three weeks. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the only difference. to get up for because of the emotion. So yeah, 24 yeah. weeks of club footy. Proper grind. It's a, yeah, there's yeah. times where you're at a lull or you struggle through the year. So to go get overcome injuries, all that. Yeah. ups and downs. Don't, yeah. Are you going to get back in because they're playing so well? Yeah. Like there's a whole lot that goes in it. So. The Cowboys 2015 grand final is the greatest grand final ever. Better than 2016. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, can I go half of that? <laughs> no, no I, I'll say yes. It was a, it was an amazing game to watch for me. Uh, yeah. I don't, like, can't wait to hear how you explain it. But watching it and how many twists and turns were in it, and then that last play at the end when, you know, obviously, Broncos only had to make one tackle, and you come up with that amazing play and score. Then Jonathan Thurston could have kicked the, the, the goal from the sideline. Kicks it with his eyes closed normally. Mark, I could literally watch that that last five yeah. minutes over and over and over. So well. Yeah, I actually don't remember too much of the game, to be honest, because it was so fast-paced and obviously, like you said, so much happening and it was sort of, you didn't really get a second to stop and go look around and think, how good is this? So, yeah, but it was fun. What about the last part, though, when you seen Ben Hunt drop the, the, the kick? Oh, I thought then it was over, we'd have it, because I knew that we'd get a chance. Yeah, shot straight yeah, away. Yeah. yeah. Because so, that's why, as soon as I seen him drop it, I felt yeah. so sorry for Ben so Hunt. Because he, he had an I awesome did out there. I oh, felt bad you? on the field, yeah. I mean, I was Stoked, always going to take it, horrible. but yeah, yeah, for the way it happened. Yeah. I would have preferred... JT kicked the goal from the sideline and end it there. I'd love to argue the point of like 15 and 16 because 16 was, <laughs> it was, was the best year in the yeah. world. You know, but um, it was. That was a great, that was one yeah. of the best grand finals we've watched. Manly and Parramatta deserve premierships for 07 and 09. I'm trying to go back to it, but I'm going to go with Morgan. I want to hear what he says first. <laughs> um, was that the ones? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think so because it's still like we just we've spoken about. It's still a whole year of grinding footy to get to where you, I guess, you want to be to, to actually win. Um, and I don't know. Mel I just don't think you can. Melbourne, can Melbourne, you? Melbourne Storm were They're too good, unbelievable. Both those yeah. years, um, yeah. should they have won it? Yeah, um, I understand why they don't get it with the salary yeah. cap uh, because if everyone else got the same amount of money to spend on that, who knows? They might yeah. have been a, a different team as well. Um, just imagine they'd be able to buy someone like yourself and spend that extra bit of money to go there and you could have won a premiership, yeah. right? So, um, look, I'm sort of torn, but, you know, you, at the end of the day, the players that were out there, they still had to play their best footy. Yeah. They still did everything right. So yeah. I actually can curve you on that yeah. one. Suburban grounds are better to play at than big stadiums. Agree. 
depending <laughs> depending on I'll let, oh, well, depending on the type of game. If it's a big game, you'd rather play in a big full stadium. Yeah. If it's a club game where you get seven thousand people. Yeah, you don't want to be in a. Well, big I'm gonna game. say like playing at Leichhardt, for example. Hate it. You, you hated it. Never, you just I, never won there, eh? You no, I never won there. in Leichhardt. Yeah, no. that's right. Yeah. I remember that. Uh, yeah, Leichhardt for me. I used to love walking down that tunnel, yeah. hearing the studs. You know, running out and seeing that whole hill and the, where the scoreboard was packed. It was pretty cool. I can't say I had the best success rate there, though. But, no, uh, well, it was mine awesome was terrible. Film. But and it was always cold and that bit of dew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't a fan of it. But you talked to Robbie and Benji, and they loved it. Love it. it. Yeah. Loved it. So yeah. it, it was a pretty cool venue. They should go back to daytime grand finals. <laughs> Have we agreed on all of them? I think so. That's, <laughs> mate, it, it, that's a no-brainer for yeah. me. I mean, when I was a young kid watching it, as a, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, know, you go, you sit with your friends and family, you'd have barbecue, oh, yeah. uh, the kids could watch it. At the moment now, it's getting way too late, even with the origin as well, oh, but it's just way too late. Kids I, I struggle watching it at home when 100%. it's that late. I it um, has yeah. to come back. Yeah, agree. Scott Sattler's grand final tackle is the greatest defensive moment in a grand final. Yes. I agree, yeah. You know why? I'm going to give you a story because <laughs> Sat's no G up to this day. It was 2003 uh, since we won this grand final, and I still get videos every time we come to semi-final time. That, sent to me of that of yeah. that tackle. But he doesn't realise I actually slowed Burns down. So I went to make the tackle, he tripped over, sort of slowed him up, and I think it made so Scotty. You. Yeah, I already got made yeah. Scotty Sattler's career. So, really, he, so he shouldn't get <laughs> yes, he, it should be known yours is bigger. Yeah, 100 <laughs> percent Nathan Cleary could become the greatest halfback of all time. I'll say yeah. I'm not gonna say I, I love cool. Nathan Cleary. I think he's a great player. Um, and I think he's going to be an absolute superstar. But the best halfback of all time, I still can't go past Joey Johns and um, Jonathan Thurston. Um, and I've just been lucky enough to play against those guys and, and see what they what they could do on a footy field and get the play with JT and you know what it was like and understand his understanding of a game and the domination that Andrew Johns dominated in origin and the way yeah. that uh, Jonathan Thurston dominated in origin. Um, I'm going to have to say that those two will outclass him just a little bit at the moment. Yeah. But in saying yeah. that, well, I don't know what the next five years holds. Yes, because he's, I think he's only 24. Yeah. And it seems like he's been around and a he's long played, time. He's already played 10,000 Origins. If he can do that for another you know, eight years, then that's what, why I think he could, he could. Yeah, be yeah. better. I don't, I'm not saying he is at the moment, but I think the potential's there. Yeah, I, I believe his potential's there. Yeah. Um, but until I see him... Like proper dominate yeah. Orange in the you know, two yeah. three years in a row, which yeah. he took a really good step this year. Yeah, uh, the way that he played, especially in game, game two. two. Yeah, um, he's going to be, he's definitely going to be up there, Hall of Famer, yeah. um, and pushing maybe immortality. But uh, I just have to see a few more Origins from yeah. him and then make the decision. Then, so can you ask me in like three years? <laughs> <laughs> you should not be allowed to win the Clive Churchill Medal on a losing team. Uh. I think if you if you play well enough, yeah, why not? And then you might might lose by one or two points. And even in fifteen, the one we played in, Anthony Milford, they said had it until up until full time, and he did have a good game because he was my opposite half. Um, but I think if you play well enough, then why not? Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. But you're like 100 right. The game could go down to the wire. Yeah. And you know, John Thurston kicks the field yeah. goal. Um, and obviously, you know, you're probably going to get it there, especially when you've got a couple of clutch moments, yeah. right? Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's uh, the game's so tight. I think you can get it in a losing team. Yeah. All right, thanks, mate. Thank you. Good, Good to see you. Mate. Yeah, and uh, enjoy the grand final week. We'll do.